Well, that was an interesting fall. I wonder what happened up there. Sonic, I don't know how it is that you're not dead, but you know, you're Sonic the Hedgehog and that's all that matters. It's good enough for me. Also, it seems as though that things are going to get a lot more interesting from here on out. Hey guys, Multigame Master one here, and welcome back to some more Sonic and Knuckles. This is zone number 4, Lava Wreath. Yeah, things are definitely going to get a lot more challenging from here on out, but we're going to push on ahead regardless. I gotta say, the view to the Lava Reef is rather cryptic. Well, with the exception of the Lava Pools and Lava Waterfalls, in my honest opinion. Kinda makes me wish that I could just come down here, bring out my camera, and take a nice picture of them. But then again, some place as creepy as this probably would not be the best place for sightseeing and or picture taking, but that's just a personal thought that I had of my own. <laughs> Let's just keep going, shall we? I'm gonna do the very best I can to hold on to this fire shield, by the way, for what lies ahead. They don't call this place the Lava Reef for nothing. Hmm, mid boss, I presume? If so, this is gonna be easy. Okay, apparently that was not the mid boss. Rip giant digging robot, I suppose. Let's just move on ahead. So, these makeshift elevators we can make use of with the spin. If you spin to the right, the elevators will move up, and if you spin to the left, the elevators will move down. Keep that in mind as you're moving on ahead. More rings for us to take back here, I'll take those. Raking in more of the moolah. Sonic's gonna be rich by the end of this LP, guys, I can already predict it. Gosh, there are like so many deadly traps down here. All this technology... I have to wonder if there's a reason that Dr. Eggman would be down here in the first place, considering the amount of technology that is down here. I mean, I can't think of a reason in which he wouldn't be down here. He's obviously looking for something. What that something is, we don't know yet, but we're gonna make sure that he doesn't get his hands on that something. Otherwise, the world is in trouble again. Right, just gonna wait this out. Yeah, things are definitely heating up down here. And speaking of things heating up, something I would like to talk to you guys about. So, not only has this week been stressful for me, but it's also been rather uncomfortable in terms of heat. And the reason why I say that is, I live in the northeastern part of the United States of America. And temperatures here rose as high as 60 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the whole entire week. Not only did I find that abnormal considering that we're still in winter, but also it made things a little bit more hotter than usual at work. I'm not the kind of guy to easily get accustomed to warmer temperatures than usual, if we could say that. But I learned to adapt to it. And also, to be fair, no cooling was applied at the time. But I would imagine that they will be activated at work come spring. But I'm just happy to have gotten through it. And besides, temperatures are supposed to cool down soon. So that way I'll be nice and warm again, both at home and at work. Anyway, enough about that. It's mid boss time. Gosh, this is so epic right here. Wondering if I should make this a thumbnail. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll work it out. So you don't really have to focus on the robotic tentacles. This is what you want to worry about the most. But I'm going to do the best I can to destroy the robotic tentacles. And if I can't, then that's okay. What matters most is destroying the main apparatus. Again, six hits is what it takes in order for you to destroy this robot. Boom! We are done. Let's see, any goods I can get? Nope. That's fine. We completed Act 1 anyway, and plus we still have our fire shield. We might still need this. Look at that score, that's awesome. Act 2, here we go. Okay, so just like that, the lava cools down. I don't know how that's possible, but we'll take it anyway. And proceed. Gosh, look at all these shining gemstones. It's rather intricate, if you ask me. Never thought an island like this would hold so many marvelous gemstones. Things definitely seem to have cooled down here. Of course, I say that now, and I could jinx it later. Something's bound to happen up ahead, as long as Dr. Eggman is around. Rings here, I'll take those. Doing really good as it so far. I'm very proud of this run. Of course, then again, I don't find this place to be particularly difficult. Not gonna touch the water shield because I really don't need that. Get through here. 
Yeah, things are going really well so far. Oops. And as I said that, I lost my fire shield. I'm hoping not to lose my rings. I'm gonna do the best I can to not lose my rings and also find another fire shield. Out of my way. It is possible that you can engulf yourself inside the clouds that the robots generate, by the way, guys. And if you do that, you'll gradually start to lose your rings. So try to defeat the robot as quickly as you can. Interesting note, though, if you do get trapped within the cloud, you can escape from it if you do a spin dash. I found this out during practicing and before recording. Right, let's press on ahead, shall we? Look at that tight squeeze. Hate to be the main squeeze, guys, but that was rather impressive. Huh? Yeah, I'm bad at puns, I know. Don't judge me. Right, let's just proceed down here, which is what I meant to do. Open this up. Nice handy little shortcut. Great for speed running. So I did have some minor flaws from here on out. But overall, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Still want to hold on to this fire shield, though. That's pretty cool. Creepy, but cool. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Let me try that again. It's rather difficult to control yourself when you're running upside down. Um... What the heck is that? For some reason, that looks strangely familiar. Is that what I think it is? If it is what I think it is, then we're in big trouble. Oh, hi, Knuckles. Don't you dare. Wow, Knuckles, you are the biggest troll in this game. You are going to pay for that when I get my hands on you. What's happening now? Yep, what did I tell you guys? Things have definitely heated up again. And there's Dr. Eggman over there, preparing to fire his missiles at us. This is the next boss fight, by the way, guys. The only thing you could do for right now is dodge the attacks and keep up with the screen. Can I just say, by the way, guys, that I am not a big fan of side-scrollers. I always hated them ever since Mario. True story. Right, let's be careful here. Don't want to fall until we get to this part in which we can fall. Massive shortcut that we can pull off right there. And now, as soon as this platform comes down, we can get things started with the next fight. So for this boss fight, there's literally nothing you can do except dodge Dr. Robotnik's spiky balls. Take that what you will, by the way, guys. Keep on dodging them, and Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman, I should say, will constantly take damage. You need to do this enough times in order for you to defeat him. I'm not sure how many total hits it takes, but we'll see how many hits it does take in order for you to defeat him. The boss fight is much easier if you have the fire shield, by the way, because you won't have to worry so much about the pool of lava. But if you don't have the fire shield, then you're going to have to prepare yourself for some intense platforming and maybe even some parkouring, if you like. Um, Dr. Eggman, you're not really having much luck defeating Sonic, are you? I would say not. Don't you think that you should switch your strategy up a little bit? Look at yourself, you're embarrassing yourself. You're constantly losing this thing. Eggman, I'm just giving you some advice here. Switch it up a little bit, will you? No? Okay, fine then. Get wrecked. You're defeated. I warned you. That was quite an easy boss fight. Like I said, if you have the fire shield, then it's easy, but if you don't have the fire shield, then it gets tough. Gosh, this is such a fantastic view. I'm wondering if I should make this my thumbnail shot. I don't know. I'll work it out somehow. Anyway, guys, that's it for... Yes, Sonic, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. You can stop pointing your fingers. Anyway, guys, that's it for the Lava Reef Zone. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button down below if you did. I'm Ultigame Master one and I will see you guys in the next zone. Game on, everyone. See you later.
Right, it's time for us to get a move on so we can deal with that thing. 